Hello, this is the windy Dr. Jimmy. Great. I think there's a lot of wind, turbulence, etc. Uh, no, I think I said turbulent. Alright, I hope there's no more wind, but uh, this is your friendly neighbor, Dr. Jimmy128, and I'm bringing you my latest purchase here uh, from Thermal Take or uh, Thermal TT Sports. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I just sold my Razer Black Widow and my uh, Razer Karcharias because I am now shifting brands. I'm now moving to the TTE Sports uh, bandwagon. Though this the uh, this is necessarily my uh, forever buy or like my permanent uh, stuff I'm going to use. These are like um, stuff. For my brother's computer, but I'll be using the keyboard first. First, uh, yeah, first, first, <laughs> yeah. So uh, for now, since I don't have a keyboard, I'll be using the TT Esports uh, Amaru. Okay, so let's take a look at it. It is there. It is. And then uh, first, I'll be transferring this one, the TT Esports Ryujin mouse, over to the computer down below. So let's take a look at this little guy first. This is the TDE Sports Ryujin. Uh, it's not exactly your high-end gaming mouse. I bought this for 650 uh, pesos. This is like the entry-level uh, equipment from Thermaltake. Very affordable. Um, some people ask me what's the you know what's the use of buying gaming gear where, like you know the regular mouse and say other things work. Well, there is a difference, my friends, especially if you are a. Uh, you know, an avid gamer, let's take a look at the box. If you're an avid gamer, um, you can really tell the difference between using an ordinary mouse or keyboard and, uh, you know, from using a regular, whoops, <laughs> mouse. There it is, made in Taiwan. Alright. Let me position things better. So, uh, here. So it just comes in a box and it there you go. So this is the TT Sports Amaru. Let's take a good look around it. It kinda looks like the TT Sports Black, just without the lights and the weights. So it's a, a nice form factor mouse. It's not exactly the biggest mouse you'll ever find. It has a nice shape over here. So your palm can comfortably rest and your fingers are, you know, relaxed on the buttons. And then there is a, a little, I don't know what you call this, a groove. Where it goes up just a little bit. Let's take a look. There you go. There is a little groove there which will prevent your fingers from slipping off. Especially for those who have sweaty, sweaty hands. And of course it comes with your uh, scroll bar, uh, scroll, Mouse scroll, but it does not have the side buttons. But this is totally fine. This is an entry gaming level mouse. It's only 650 pesos. Though it does not have high DPI, this is actually an optical gaming mouse. So uh, yeah, what's some people ask? What's the difference between DPI and whatever? It's increasing sensitivity. DPI means dots per inch. So the more DPI your mouse has, the lesser you have to move the uh, move the mouse however what 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 if I just increase sensitivity well here's the thing if you're playing a game like let's say uh, uh, work uh, dota right sure you increase your sensitivity it will make your mouse move faster but if you move your mouse scroll up to you know scroll up the screen it will go really really fast however if you increase the DPI only um, yes your mouse will move faster but scrolling will be basically the same Plus, um, I'm sure you, uh, when you try playing games and you have to go like that, you know, up and down, you have to lift it up, put it there, then go back, like that, like that, like that. It's quite a hassle. However, with high DPI m m mice, you just, you know, you never lift your mouse off because you ran out of room to continue scrolling in the direction that you wish to scroll. So there, uh, there's a nice TT Sports logo, though it is not uh, an LED, but yeah, that is the gaming mouse. So let's put that aside. Now let's take a look at the Amaru. So it's a 
another uh, gaming product from TTE Sports, the brand that I love so much. Of course, I got the, these uh, at PC Express Jones. For those of you who are wondering, so uh, there is first you have the cover, set that aside. Now we have the box, so nice and white, clean box. So there's a little tab here. Open it, and there you go. It's, there's no other accessories that come along with this keyboard. It's just a keyboard. Oh yeah, about the mouse, it is USB. Though it's not gold plated. Of course, again, this is not, you know, your uh, premium gaming mouse. And here we have the keyboard. Now let's remove it from its plastic. Yeah. Oh, big thanks to Edwin Lau, who purchased my Black Widow and uh, Carcharius. Hope you take care of them. the camera angle help you guys are not getting dizzy okay here it is the TTE Sports Amaru it has a nice uh, nice and thick cable though it's not braided like most of your premium cables and it has a USB connector again it is not cool because this is not your uh, you know your high-end stuff check out the keyboard so it has your standard layout you have your window grease here uh, it's in the nice like A formation, right? Because you know it's better to have your hands positioned uh, this way rather than that way. Then of course it has the standard shift, shift key size, control button. Some people like a big enter button. I like the big enter button because it only means that the. Uh, this little button that I like to use a lot for the backslash is up here. Though we don't have a full size backspace, so um, for those of you who don't like small backspace buttons, yeah. Then of course it has the uh, its complete uh, number pad, etc. It doesn't have any macro keys or gaming mode or anything. It's just your premium keyboard. It uh, ha it's so what's the difference between this and any regular old keyboard? Um, the response time when you click a button. Because most, uh, I have a regular keyboard, and then I do notice that, um, you know, there is a slight delay when you press a button. Though it's very slight, but there is that slight delay. And when you're playing a game, the, uh, you know, everything counts. Every single second counts. Every single split second counts. So the, the, the longer it takes for your character to do this certain action, the faster you die. And yes, it really does work. So of course you have uh, colored WASD uh, buttons. Why? Is, this is normally um, you know the buttons used by gamers, especially those who play first-person shooters. Same with these buttons. And plus, it look, makes the keyboard look overall you know, really nice. So there it is. Uh, how does it sound when I type? Okay. Uh, It's not exactly mechanical, but you know, it, it works. Uh, I'll be transferring this over to my brother's keyboard once I get the TT Sports uh, unit. So there you go, there it is, the TT Sports Amaru and Ryujin. Let's just get both of these guys over here. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, uh, I bought this for 700, 700 pesos at PC Express Jones. So it's nice and affordable for you entry-level gamers who don't like macro keys or mechanical keyboards, but like uh, nice responsive keyboards. So that's it. This is your friendly neighbor, Dr. Jimmy, signing off. Bye-bye. Mwah-mwah.